It's like Mia Khalifa and George Peterson host their own podcast, so they want to prescribe mm -hmm. for the entire planet. But often we hear this argument from women, and the argument is, you're 45, why don't you settle down? And then the other thing is, why don't you settle down with a woman who's older, like around your age? And then the third one is, why don't you settle down with someone who's around your age who has a kid? And then the, quite, the answer is this, right? In general, men swipe right the most between the ages of 23 and 25 for women. That's when they're at their peak. So I want you to consider at 23 to 25, you've been gifted a million dollars, okay? And the men, we're just kind of losers at 23 to 25. We were at the top of the totem pole when we were in high school, then we're at the bottom in college, then we graduate from college and we're at the bottom at our work. Does that make sense? So we don't have a million dollars. By the time we get to 38, 40, 45, we now have, we have a literal million dollars. Okay, that's what's one of the things we've done. And so now you guys at 22 are going on a yacht and we guys at 45 are going on the same yacht. We had to work a lot harder for a lot longer to get on that same yacht that you're on. When you guys were in your early 20s, not some of you, but not, not all of you, but some of you were not interested in monogamy. But for some reason, we're being guilted because we're not interested in monogamy. We had to work for our million dollars and you guys were gifted it. Does that make sense? I'm not saying you guys don't work for a living. I'm saying you guys know when you're young and hot, there's a lot going your way and you didn't work for it. You're just kind of young and hot. Does that make sense? And so that's where a lot of men are being shamed, including by Jordan Peterson, because yes. that kind of fits with his narrative. They're kind of shaming men. And I'm like, no, 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 wait a second. When they were in their, er when I was 23 and I would talk to a hot girl who was 23, she would not piss on me if I was on fire. <laughs> now, now it's funny because we're both 45 and now I'm not interested in her anymore. And when I want to date someone who's 23, the, the problem is right. you weren't interested in monogamy when I was, when I was younger. Now I'm supposed to be interested in monogamy when I did all this work. That's the problem. Does that make sense? I think the thing I like about Jordan Peterson, though, is like he does have like the whole family values dynamic. And sure. I want that. I want the family sure. values. Mm -hmm. You know, like I want it, I, it, I want the like, I'm 33. The bro, I'm not 23. The brochure looks good. Put it that way. The I, advertising I that. looks good. That's what I want. No, I'm not saying that, that yeah, that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that the brochure that is Jordan Peterson looks good. But it's like it it, it is impractical. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Because I just I was just looking at this this one here. Is that you can't possibly tell a guy that just started hitting his stride at 30 years old to man up and settle down at that age, especially when he's just coming starting into to his live. own. Just right. To, yeah. So. It's not just it's not just women who are sending this message to guys who are like in their 30s. Hey, you know, you act your age kind of thing. It's also guys. Can I You're not interested in being a long-term monogamous relationship at 22, are you? No. Okay. I mean, if the right person came along, maybe. Sure. The rest of you at 22, who here was not interested in a long-term? You were interested in having some fun when you were 20 22 to 24. Anybody? I was the opposite. Anybody? Were I you had a relationship. I was married. You were married? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Were you? No, I was having fun at 22. You were having fun at 22. I was in Afghanistan at 22. Yeah, that's not a lot of fun, but there were a lot of dudes, <laughs> yeah. and there were hot, hot dudes there. Uh, Katie? I mean, I will say when I was younger and I pictured my life at 22, I thought I would be like married, settling down, but now that mm -hmm. I've been 22, hell no. I was okay. having fun the whole time. So what's the youngest guy you would consider for a, a relationship? Uh, and what's the oldest you would consider for a relationship? What it's, if you uh, don't want a relationship? We'll just go if with age. If you don't, yeah, if you do. <laughs> yeah, you can just go with age as far as like who. Sarah? Going. Sarah. Um, I guess maybe 30, 32, as long as he was like done. 32 is the oldest. Youngest. Youngest. Oh, youngest. Okay. Youngest. Okay. youngest. Jesus, no. As long as he was like <laughs> done partying or whatever. And then I would say 50. What if he wants to party with you and he doesn't drink? I don't like partying. Okay, got it. I'm 33, so probably like 34, 35 youngest. Oldest. And then oldest, probably like 50. Okay. Yeah. Um, it really depends on the maturity. My last uh, guy I dated was 45, well, actually. By maturity, you mean how rich he is? No. Okay, sorry. No, I, sorry. I mean, I mean <laughs> that's not like a bad thing either. But like, <laughs> honestly, for, for 22, I feel like I'm very deep and I'm very like, I don't know. Just You are. You're a little bit and more And you aware. know. You know me. Yeah. Like, so, I believe the two of you have seen each other's <laughs> you should ask. You should ask what Confirm. else we've done together. Okay. I, I typically like older guys. I mean, as far as that goes, I mean, I don't want a grandpa who who doesn't work. But I, I'm not really like knocking. There's shots any for that. <laughs> There's pills for that too. Go ahead, Katie. Um, I would never date a guy younger than me or even my age because. Mm. Wait, it's, how old are you again? I'm 25. Oh, okay. So I feel like men don't really come into their own and like into reaching maturity until I would say 30. And men don't become men until they're 30. Yeah, and then I would say the oldest is probably around 50 as well. Like you said, I don't want to date an old man. Good thing I'm 48. Allie right. Summers, what's your, what's your yeah. range? Um, 
probably 26, 27, all the way up. And I want to say, I want to say mid 50s, because that salt and pepper George Clooney look isn't too bad looking sometimes. It, it's you know? kind of hot. It's kind of hot. But well, unfortunately, he's taken. In the maturity, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no salt and pepper over here. Mm -hmm. I don't really have like an age, yeah. high or low. Um, it's just going to be based upon are you attractive and how do you treat me? So when you're in my presence, do you treat me like a queen? Because I'm going to treat you like a king. So equal energy exchange. So a 19-year-old dude yeah. is treats you like a queen. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, if he does, I'm not trying to date anyone. So uh, we're just yeah. You know. I think that that is an interesting qualifier. If you're not interested in long-term monogamy, then then it would really wouldn't. I so like I like action. consistency. Yeah. So if you're a great person and you treat me well, you can be in my life as long as you want to be in my life. I have an open door, you know, because when you're ready to leave or you meet somebody, then I wish you the best of luck. Free like love, I love I love detached. Kayla Marie. So. So I don't really care about the age, I think, as long as I get a vibe with you and I like you. But, I mean, I've dated younger than me. I've dated older. But I definitely could see myself being, like, an old rich lady dating a young guy one day, probably. Doesn't that seem so. fun? That seems fun for everyone, doesn't it? It yeah. seems so fun. See that. Seems like someone, someone should make about that. I don't know what that what would that would look like. Uh, what do you think, boss? I definitely want an emotional, mature man. I want someone who's successful, who's goal-oriented and motivated and knows what they want out of life and how to treat a woman. Adrian, how old would that person be on average? Some men mature sooner than others. Um, definitely, I want to date anyone younger than 35, and I don't think I would want to date anyone older than 55. Mm. Nice. Well done. Now, the reason why I'm asking this is because Dr. Jordan Peterson has been on a hot tirade about how guys who are in 45, by the way, about 45 to 50 to, to our age range, um, are immature children for not acting our age and growing up and being mature enough to date women that are in an acceptable range. Now, of course, he's probably mouthing off because it's in his best interest to do Peter so. Peter Pan syndrome. So my next, yeah. my next question was, if you see a guy who's like, say, 45, 50 years old and he's in the club, do you look at this guy as if he is in some way the old guy in the club? Like, <laughs> is he like immature? Like, it, does it necessarily matter to you? Do, it, does it freak you out? I guess it kind of depends on what your mission is, right? In life, yeah. like what your goal is, like why are you in the club all the time? Are you in there because you have nothing else better well, to maybe do? Maybe not the like, club. Because yeah, I'm, I'm using club as sort of in a general sense. He's dating younger than his range That's and is though, is think. not, quote unquote, act, like what is acting your age? Really. So a good example is like if you're alone in the club and you're that guy. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, exactly. That's but creepy. if you're with like five other women yeah. and then like or Michael, men. good example, walks in every club with like six girls. I think do you think do you think do you think being like forty five in the club is should like the guy should feel embarrassed to? Be no, there? no, no, not at all. Yeah, and I your, would say no. your number is just a it's just a number. You know what I mean? It's like how do you feel like my number and how I feel? I'm like wait, they don't match up. Thanks, you know, guys. so I, mean, like, oh, yeah, I don't so match up. Guys. Guys. No, I don't ever like to be over generalized in anything because not everybody fits in one box. You know what this either. is? Hundred percent. Th th these girls 100%. don't host their own podcast. It's like Mia Khalifa and George Peterson host their own podcast, so they want to mm -hmm. prescribe for the entire planet. And they're yes. these girls are like, hey, do whatever the f you want, because that's how normal people are. Right. Well, also, I think that the normal man doesn't find his true identity till he's about forty, after college, after success, after becoming who they want what they went to school for and then you take a few years into that becoming successful then they want to go celebrate can i add in here mm -hmm. too sure i think most people and i don't even want to classify it as men or women here most people do not know what they want in life or their goal in life so one of my most important questions to me when it comes to just me and my bumble dating is like <laughs> what's your goal you know what I mean? And the honest answer that, or not the honest answer, the majority answer that I receive is, oh, I want to be successful. Well, duh, everyone wants to be successful. Let's break it down even further. Define to me what success means to you. Mm -hmm. And most people cannot do that. And so what that tells me is that you haven't spent enough time trying new things and collecting experiences mm -hmm. and learning about yourself to know what you like or don't like to be able to say, which is why you can't even answer what should be a simple question. That's why I was going to ask, is there such a thing as like act your age? Um, and that just uses like I think so too. Well, now I want to throw this one out because this is a really good chat. The guy's like, I'm gonna go to the club this summer, buy a table, a bottle service with ten hotties, and uh, broke twenty one year old nerds are going to be seething. It's gonna be great. 
That's so stupid. That it is stupid, and I'll tell you. What, I'm sorry. I mean, he probably said, "Was I don't know if he meant to be stupid." No, but, he's trolling me. But he's probably he's trolling, trolling you. Yeah. So <laughs> this is my take on this: is that when guys get to a certain level of success, as you were saying before, it takes you got to be 30 years old to be a real to be a man, right? You guys don't become men until they're 30, right? Well, the problem with that is when you got a guy who is successful, makes a lot of money, is attractive. Um, has really sort of you know come into his own and maybe he is 45 years old if that guy can go back and get women in their 30s and in their 20s that guy is now the apex predator when it comes to intrasexual competition so the younger guys who feel like they ought to be getting the girls who are like in within their age demographics suddenly 45 year old guy comes in swoops the girls that you that you you think belong to you because they're you hey you're an old man what are you going to talk to them about you know because you're at this stage in life and they're at this stage in life i think that when we get into since we're in the social media age right now i think those 20th century ideals with respect to like act your age they're starting to become more and more blurred right now but the old instinct of this guy's gonna come in, he's got more money than I do, he's got more status than I do, he's still in good shape. Guys like this shouldn't be on TRT because that's an unfair advantage and I can't I, I can't get on that. Now he can use the, this medical treatment so that he's more masculine than I do and he's got more resources, he's more powerful than I am and he's got access to a lot of So, How many guys do you know in their early 20s that even have like proper facial hair? That's why they yeah. so, so, so here's the thing. You don't have pube one between your legs. So, now, now it, it's, if, 